I'm not entirely sure Eden can be trusted, and I think he knows I don't trust him, but I don't think he knows I have the emergency destruct sequence for his console. Priority override, authorization code 4200309, and boom. It'd have to be a last resort, of course, but at least the option is there. I suggest you comply immediately, sir, in order to prevent any more incidents. Are we clear? Am I to assume, sir, that you are in charge? The person in charge is to step forward immediately and turn over all materials related to this project. Then you will immediately hand over all materials related to this project and aid us in making it operational at once. Sir, this is the last time I am going to repeat myself. Stand down at once and turn over control of this facility. Furthermore... You are to assist Enclave scientists in assuming control of the administration and operation of this facility at once. Then I repeat, sir, that you are hereby instructed to immediately hand over all materials related to the purifier. By the authority of the President, this facility is now under United States government control. Enough of these delays. I grow tired of waiting. My patience wears thin. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertibird. You're certain he's unharmed? You're certain she's unharmed? Excellent. Prepare him for transport immediately. Excellent. Prepare her for transport immediately. So, you're awake. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell me now. Why do you insist on making things difficult? Maybe I should start shooting. How much blood you think you can afford to lose before you tell me what I want to know? Do you really think we would fall for that? I have had enough of your games. I should have killed you right away. We have the Gek. We'll get the code. We don't need you. You lie. Let's just make sure you're telling the truth. Very well. We'll just verify that now. If you tell me the code, it might be worth your life. But you're really not in a position to be demanding anything, are you? Now that's just what I wanted to hear. So what's the code? I'll tell you what's going on here. You lost. The good guys won this one. And now we're just wrapping up loose ends. We've got the purifier. Now we just need the code to start it. You're going to give me that code now and save us all a lot of trouble. Maybe I'll even let you go. So how about it? You really think I'm that stupid? I know you were there. I saw you. You're in a heap of trouble, kid. You're a traitor to the United States government. You know what happens to traitors, don't you? You give me that code, and maybe we can work out a deal for you. But you need to start talking right now. I'll be honest. I'm running out of patience here, and I'm not looking to play games with you. You tell me that code, or it's going to cost you... Why do you insist on provoking me? Tell me the code now. Your code is 216. Repeat, 216. Confirm and enter. This is Colonel Autumn. Are your men in place, soldier? This is Colonel Autumn. Are your men in place, soldier? Your code is 704. Repeat, 704. Confirm and enter. Technically, your father killed himself. His loyalties lay with the wrong people, and he paid the price. You, on the other hand, have an opportunity to learn from his mistakes. Thank you for cooperating. I'm afraid we no longer have need of your services. I'm waiting. The prisoner from Vault 101 is to be shot on sight. I repeat, shot on sight. This is an order. Attention. This is Colonel Autumn. You are hereby ordered to ignore the President's previous directive. Yes, sir. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Don't try and play stupid now. It's too late for that. We both know better. The code to activate the water purifier. Now. You know why. We can't start the purifier without it. The longer the purifier isn't running the more people suffer. Now I'm running out of patience, son. I want that code, and I want it now. You've already won. Allow me to leave with some dignity. You again. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell-bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. 
Let's end this. And just what better is there for me? What would you have me do? You don't have to. Just stand there. It'll be over quicker and might even be less painful for you. You could have stolen the vial. It means nothing. It proves nothing. I'm in charge here. I am the enclave. Stop. Now. Are you out of your mind? There's nothing else to be done. We will push forward and we will prevail. I beg to differ. The enclave is at the height of its power. Once this facility is operational, the masses will flock to the enclave for fresh water, protection, and a plan for the future. I see. And what of the chain of command? When the enclave fell on the west coast, Eden was next in line for leadership. Yes, you're right. I had not considered it from that viewpoint. But then, where does that leave me? And your point? You're in over your head, I'm afraid. But this is the path you choose for yourself. Tell your father I said hello. Such arrogance. If that's your wish, so be it. Take some small comfort in knowing you'll have little time to regret the decision. I am sworn to protect the presidency. The chain of command must be upheld. I wouldn't expect you to understand. And what would you have me do? Let you have everything I've worked to build? Let you destroy it all? That's not true. That plan was abandoned months ago. He would never go behind my back. The American people are worth fighting for. The future must be secured. I won't let you stand in the way of that. And you? You would just let me leave? How can I be sure you won't just shoot me once I turn my back on you? I suppose it doesn't matter much now. Very well. I shall leave you to your fate. You're in over your head. And no amount of talking is going to get you out of it. Once you're dead, we'll finish off this pathetic brotherhood and become the true saviors of the wasteland. This ends now. When you see the Enclave, you see the United States government. We are authorized to restore order and civility. By any means necessary. People of the Capital Wasteland, I am Colonel Autumn. By now you have encountered Enclave troops in your towns, in your settlements. Thank you, Mr. President. Just stay out of the way and let us do our job. Interfere with the Enclave's mission and you will be dealt with. Harshly. Ah.